गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर गीतांजलि भट्ट शर्मा फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन एंड ऑलिगोपोली विच आर द पॉपुलर मैथड्स ऑफ मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर इन दिस सेशन वी विल लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मोनोपोलिस्टिक कॉम्पिटिशन प्राइज एंड आउटपुट डिसीजन इक्वलिब्रियम the topics we will cover in this session are concept of monopolistic competition in the short run concept of monopolistic competition in the long run and concept of product group by chamberlin first of all we will learn what is monopolistic competition price and output decision in monopolistic competition are made by individual firms based on their perceived demand and cost conditions the equilibrium point for a firm in monopolistic competition occurs where marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue in monopolistic competition firms determine their price and output level by seeking to maximize profit similar to other market structures due to product differentiation each firm has some degree of market power the demand curve faced by the firm is downward sloping due to product differentiation leading to less elastic demand in the price and output decision in monopolistic competition a firm has to face various problems which are not been found in perfect competition since the market of an individual firm and a perfect competition is completely merged with the general one it can sell any amount of the good at the ruling market price the firm under monopolistic competition has to confront a more complicated problem than the perfectly competitive firm equilibrium of an individual firm under monopolistic competition involves equilibrium in three respects but under monopolistic competition individual firms market is isolated to a certain degree from those of its rivals with the result that its sales are limited and depend upon its price the second is the nature of its product and the third is the advertising outlay it should make moving further equilibrium under perfect competition has two categories first is individual firm demand curve industry demand curve individual firm demand curve in this each firm in a monopolistic competitive market faces a downward sloping demand curve for its own product the demand curve is relatively elastic meaning that small changes in price leads to rel relatively large changes in quantity demanded this is because firms in monopolistic competition offer products that are somewhat differentiated from those of their competitors giving them some degree of market power next one is industry demand curve the industry demand curve represent the aggregate demand for the product of all the firms in the market it is downward sloping like the demand curve for an individual firm but it tends to be more elastic because consumers have more substitutes available to them within the broader market these demand curves in monopolistic competition as you can see reflect the basic economic principles of consumer behaviors and the relationship between price and quantity demanded firms in monopolistic competition aims to maximize their profit by producing at the quantity where 
marginal revenue equals to marginal cost just like in other market structures however due to the differentiation of product and the degree of market power each firm possesses their specific strategies may vary equilibrium of the firm in respect of three variables simultaneously are price nature of product and selling outlay it is difficult to measure therefore the method for explaining equilibrium in respect of each of them separately is adopted keeping the other two variables given and constant moreover the equilibrium under monopolistic competition involves individual equilibrium of the firm as well as the second one is group equilibrium first we will discuss individual firm equilibrium in the short run period short run refers to that time period in which output can only be increased by changing the quantity of variable factors there is no time to change the fixed factor of production such as machines plants factories and building equilibrium of a firm satisfies two conditions here first is mr equals to mc marginal revenue equals to marginal cost and the next is marginal cost cuts marginal revenue curve from below now the demand curve in individual firm the demand curve for the product of an individual firm is downward sloping since the various firms under monopolistic competition produce products which are close substitute to each other the position and elasticity of the demand curve for the product of any of them depends upon the availability of the competitive substitutes and their prices therefore the equilibrium adjustment of an individual firm cannot be defined in isolation from the general field of which it is a part however for the sake of simplicity in analysis condition regarding the availability of substitute product produced by the rival firm and price charged for them are held constant while the equilibrium adjustment of an individual firm is considered in isolation since the close substitutes for its products are available in the market the demand curve for the product of an individual firm working and under condition of monopolistic competition is fairly elastic thus although a firm under monopolistic competition has a monopolistic control over its variety of product but its control is tempered by the fact that there are close substitute available in the market and that if it sets too high a price for its product many of its consumers or customers will shift to the rival product assuming the condition with respect to all the substitutes such as their nature and price being constant the demand curve for the product of a firm will be given we further suppose that only variables are price and output in respect of which equilibrium adjustments to be made there is a figure of short run decision on output and price here in the short run the diagram for monopolistic competition is same for a monopoly the firm maximizes profit where you can see in the diagram marginal revenue equals to marginal cost this is at output q1 and price p1 leading to the condition of super normal profit which is shown through a shaded area the price is determined at a point where the imaginary line from the equilibrium output passes through the point of intersection of the mr and the mc curve marginal cost curve 
and meets the average revenue that is AR curve which is also the demand curve it means average revenue equals to demand moving on further the next is individual firms equilibrium in the long run period long run equilibrium refers to the time period in which output output can be increased by making the changes in the quantity of fixed as well as variable factor inputs in the long run each firm will produce up to the limit where marginal revenue equals to marginal cost in long run firm earn only normal profit here you can see the diagram of long run equilibrium in the long run companies in monopolistic competition still produce at a level where marginal cost and marginal revenue are equal the diagram the above diagram shown in the slide shows a price set above the marginal cost the diagram shows a firm not producing on the lowest point of average cost curve this is possible as firms have profit to invest in the research and development and this is possible as the firm faces competitive pressure to cut the cost and provide better products the firm can make choice which are operating under monopolistic competition between the com combination of three factors first is product quality second is product differentiation and finally the third is selling cost in the long run companies in monopolistic competition we can see that they still produce at a level where marginal cost and marginal revenue are equal now there are three conditions available in the long run equilibrium or group equilibrium first is excess profit to the existing firms where new firms will attract to the industry second is loss to the existing firms in this some firms may leave the industry and the third is remaining firms will earn only the normal profit it means the for the remaining firms will earn only up to the normal normal profit in the long run there is a entry and exit of firms in the monopolistic competitive industry and it leads to the existence of normal profit this is considered as a realistic assumption for in the long run no firm can either earn super normal profit or incur losses because each produces a similar product if firm in the monopolistic competitive industry are earning super normal profit new firms will attracted into the group with the entry of new firms the existing market is divided among more sellers so that each firm will sell less quantity of the product than before as a result the demand curve faced by individual firm shifts down to the left at the same time the entry of new firms will increase the demand and this may leads to the price of factor services which will shift the cost curve of individual firm upward this is about individual firm in the long run now for overcoming the problem chamberlain gave a concept called product group which includes products that are technological and economic substitute of each other technological substitutes are products having technical similarity while economic substitute are the product that have same prices and may fulfill the same similar wants of consumers first we will learn what is product group a product group refers to a group in which the demand for each product is highly elastic the demand for a product changes with the changes in the price of other products within the group and the prices 
and cross elasticity of demand for products forming the groups is high in an industry different types of group exist automatically like in automobile industry markets of car and trucks are two different product groups the main competition would be among those organization manufacturing similar products such as car which are close substitute of each other mm-hmm. both in the technical and economical sense of the term the group is in equilibrium in the long run when all the firm in the group earn normal profit due to product differentiation there is large variation in the demand and cost curve of firms their price output and profit may also differ therefore to simplify product group analysis chamberlain has given two assumptions the two assumptions are as follows first is uniformity assumption the demand and cost curve for the demand and cost curve of all products in the groups are the same or uniform the preference of consumers are evenly distributed and the difference in the preferences does not lead to variation in cost the second assumption is symmetry assumption in monopolistic competition a large number of sellers are not able to influence each other's decisions individuals firm action regarding price and output adjustment will have negligible effects of upon its rivals the changes in price or level of output of firm would have insignificant influence on its competitors this is about symmetric assumption these two assumptions form the basic basis of group equilibrium analysis if an organization within the group has established a popular brand it is more likely to earn super normal profit but however in the long run other organization would strive to emulate the product design and features in such a case super normal profit would vanish this is a general case of monopolistic competitive organization but on the other hand if the entire group is earning super normal profit then external organization would get attracted towards the group until the legal or economic barriers are imposed this is about the assumptions which are given by chamberlain now to conclude the topic there are some points the first is the suppliers in monopolistic competitive markets are price makers a monopolistic competitive firm will maximize its profit by producing goods to the point where marginal revenue is equals to marginal cost in the long run the demand curve of a firm in a monopolistic competitive market is tangent to the firm's average total cost curve and finally chamberlain monopolistic competitive model analyzes a whole new market structure this is all about the topic thank you for your attention and listening